Good afternoon, Internet. Good afternoon, Sonic Matter and Mastering Vast users. Uh, my name is Poser P, and I'm here to present uh, a couple of uh, programs that I've been working on, and one of which I'm pretty excited about. Um, the main thing that I want to talk about today is the PK3 VA03. Now, it's given 03 because it's kind of like a certain instrument that ends in 303. Uh, although it's not exactly the same, I've tried to get it reasonably close. So uh, what I'm going to demonstrate for you is how it works, because it's not just that I've got the sound more or less correct. We've got the uh, uh, resonance here on the pitch wheel. Um, so when it's halfway up, it's about um, half the resonance amount, which I believe is 24 decibels. So it goes up all the way to 48 dB uh, resonance. And we've got filter cutoff right here on the mod wheel. Now, I designed this program to work entirely on the PC3. Uh, so you don't need to necessarily have an external controller, although I have one over here, and I'm going to show you later um, how this is fun uh, to use in a setup. But anyway, so what I've done here, um, I'm in setup mode right now on the PC3. And I have uh, on one zone, I have this. Uh, uh, this drum pro or this uh, TR-303 emulation on another zone which really isn't mapped anywhere on the keyboard except for right here I have a riff playing and that is playing sounds from a program I created called the PK-3 Hate Oh Hate and my guess is you can figure out what that's supposed to emulate uh, more or less. The, the Hate Oh Hate is um, unique in that it uses alt synthesis to create the drum sounds. It doesn't use samples, uh, with a minor exception. It uses a, a B3 key click sample, actually, to uh, emulate the way that the TR-808 uh, would create click. So like, for instance, the click of a drum stick hitting a snare or uh, other kinds of click. And how it did this was basically by taking a control voltage and turning it into an audio signal. And the B3 click, uh, key map on the PC3 is actually fairly close to this, uh, in my opinion, and so I've used it um, in that program. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a bit of an audio demo. Now what I've set up here is, like I said before, I've got the uh, VA03 mapped between these keys, okay? I've got the, uh, the PK3 mug mapped between these keys. And uh, the mug is uh, controlled by this over by my uh, BCR2000 over here, and this is uh, the the BA03 is going to be controlled by these sliders, and you'll see what they do. And um, the drums, I'm just letting play. I'm not going to be controlling them at all in real time. So, without any further ado, then I'm going to pop on my headphones here. I'm going to demonstrate some of the fun things that you can do with the VA-03. So let's start our drum loop. Okay, it looks like we got good levels.
Okay, so as you can see, I basically have built an eight step sequencer. Uh, I can hold down a key, and when I hold down the key, it plays through the sequence. Now, the sequencer is actually built based off of a, a sawtooth LFO. And with this slider all the way up, that sawtooth is playing back at a speed such that uh, the note will repeat in as sixteenths. And with it all the way down like this, it'll repeat essentially as eighth notes. So um, the sliders here control the note that's playing on each step. The buttons here, because I'm in setup mode, I can program these. These buttons control whether or not a step is active and so forth. So that's the PK3 VA03. It'll be available on my blog. That's pc3nerd.blogspot.com. Also available on Sonic Matter uh, in the uh, PC3 forum, or in the download section, excuse me. And it will be available on Mastering Vast. Okay. Enjoy, and hopefully I will have more later.